I decided to jump the Welbra for a bing. Um, got the uh, all the parts from Fresh Breeze, carb, the inlet tube there. It's quite straightforward to fit. Um, I fitted a, a bungee strap there to support it. Also, the air box is supported by bungees. It helps to uh, cut down on the vibration. After fitting the car, I had to uh, sort the fuel supply out. I thought usually uh, gravity fed, and my tank is down there, so uh, I had to uh, fit a lift pump. Uh, this is a typical lift pump. Uh, ports line in the middle, in and out. Um, after fitting the fuel pump, the uh, pressure was too high for the uh, for the carb. So to get round that, uh, there's various ways of doing it, but I decided to go with a um, fit a pressure regulator. You need to check the pressure uh, going to the carb. It's very simple to do. Just remove the uh, fuel inlet feed and connect it to um, your little pop-off pressure gauge. But with the air box I'm using a uh, like a foam type filter as well. Now this uh, motor is supposed to uh, peak out about uh, 7200 and uh, with the air box on and the foam filter uh, we're going to see what it's going to do. So uh, we're going to see if it makes any difference to the uh, output. So the answer is no, and add the basket upside down. Alright, a bit more information about the carb, the 145. It looks like when it's first supplied, it's fitted with a 155 main jet, and obviously Fresh Breeze must um, replace that with a 160. Um, the other interesting little thing is um, the Simonini uh, um, 84 uh, is fitted with a 165 uh, main jet, so uh, that's interesting. Right, a thing to watch out for is the uh, throttle outer cable. Well, sometimes it tends to ride up and it doesn't allow the uh, the piston to return so uh, I've sorted that out with a uh, couple of cable ties. Um, the other thing I've changed is uh, I've removed the choke lever assembly completely and connected it to um, a cable which runs over runs over here and connects I've connected it to a ring so I can actually start it when it's on my back from cold and, and big ring so I can uh, when I've got my gloves on. Another little tip if anybody's interested I uh, mark all the nuts and bolts with a bit of nail varnish and that way when you do a pre-flight visual inspection you can see if anything uh, has vibrated loose. The other thing is the spark plug lead. The cable tied that back because the plug cap does happen to come off I don't want it destroying a £200 prop that's nice and simple. Right, the only other thing I've changed now is the uh, harness. I've had these welded on to the arms and it gives it like a uh, semi, uh, semi weight shift. It's a uh, mid -hang point because I'm not a big fan on the uh, swinging arm. So I really like that, it's a nice improvement, it feels nice in the air. 
Another thing, if you don't know, when you attach your reserve to your harness, you do not want this big loop at all. You can either fix it with an elastic band or tape or something to keep it like that. The other side is done. You don't want any slack there. Right, I want to show you how to uh, pressure test a small engine. Um, very, very easy to do. Um, I'll remove the exhaust. What we first need to do is, uh, is to cover that up. So I've used a piece of uh, silicon rubber. And Tom, that was fortunate. That was off the uh, the flange, off the exhaust. Or you can make um, a bit of a plate, something so you can bolt it down. So we tighten these up. You can actually do all this. You can pressure test. While it's in the frame, you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to remove the engine. Let's get this nice and tight. That'll do. Right. Next thing to do is just make sure the spark plug's nice and tight, because you don't want the air escaping from there. Right. Next, it's the carburetor. Remove the carburetor. And what I'm using is these. Um, rubber bungs. So just block that off nice and tight. What you're left with now is your uh, the pulse pulse line. So get your uh, little pop off gauge again and connect it to the pulse line. And all you need to do is uh, pump it up think about five pounds, no more than five pounds. A leak. That's that bung. There we go. There we go. All right. right, pump it up to about five pounds. So go in on that. And um it should sit there for about five or six minutes. Oh, it's in the shade. That's it. Yeah, it should hold pressure for about five minutes. Um, if it does, you're uh, you're good to go. I'm not going to do any more because it'll uh, it'll turn into a feature length film. So uh, I'll leave it at that. Right. 